early start this morning, so we've decided to go for a room service breakfast. Mm. You can order what you want. I'll show you the card in a second. So we've just got, oh, Pete's got some croissants. Yep. But we've got pan of chocolate and I've got some cornflakes. And it did come with some butter or oh, some natural yogurt. Uh, milk from a cereal. We did the tea in our room because you get a kettle, as you can see. Let me grab the thing. Uh, this was a cover charge of £2.50 to have your breakfast delivered. And you have to pop a card outside your door before 10am uh, the night before. And you can have a continental delivered. So no cooked delivered. You do have to go and get that at the buffet should you want it. But yep, yeah, and then you hang that on your door. But we've got an early start with an Italian um, excursion today. Yeah. So this was definitely worth it. Before we do some um, some uh, logistic uh, stuff. Our standard is very is very high. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In Italy, the, 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 our standard is really you need to be uh, always fit, you know. It's all, it's all. Did you take a picture of her phone number? Oh, okay, fine. No, it's good. Here is the meeting point for, for the boats. Now you have more or less uh, for, for half an hour. There's all the posh hotels up there. And a Disney duck. Disney duck. It's a duck Why Italiano. isn't it a Disney duck? <laughs> it's Italian. Italiano duck. Hello. Nice clear water for you. It's quacking. There's a little beach over there if you wanted to lay on the beach. A bit peddly. It's definitely all the money hotels there, isn't it? Beautiful. We're on a boat. So this is going to take us to Porto Bino for about 15 minutes. Yeah. And there's a lot of coaches from the P&O cruise we're on. I think there's an MSC one as well. Yeah. It's, 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 it's so busy, good. but it's not crazy. Yeah.
teeny though. Absolutely teeny weeny. Because it is just a fishing village. Yeah, about 10 minutes on the boat. Pretty, pretty breezy out there. Oh, that was a beautiful journey though, as yeah. you probably just saw. But so we're down by the harbour. Let's yeah. go for a paddle. No. Uh, we're going to go find the ice cream shop that the guide has recommended. Yeah. It's there, there somewhere. somewhere. <laughs> um, if we spin around, there's a massive bonfire going to happen yeah. in, on the 23rd, which is, of course, St George's Day. Celebrating St George, apparently. But they celebrate it here because they light the bonfire to protect against pirates coming into the boat. Yeah, British pirates. So we're just going to miss the bonfire, but we are seeing it because yeah. the guide said, don't panic, this isn't a pile of complete rubbish. Yeah. So we're going to have a look around and take you along with us. Your Rolex here. Dripping that ice cream Two gelato wasn't cheap. Five euros each. Yeah, but it is good. I've got um, strawberry, which is kind of like a sorbet, and vanilla, which is creamier. Mm -mm -mm. It's lovely. I can hear the water lapping up. It's um, when in Rome job, but mm. when in Portofino. So this was recommended to us by a guy. I can't even remember her name. Yep, Sandra. Sandra. And the bus driver's Andreas. So we're gonna finish our ice creams, which are excellent. Mm -hmm. And then have a further look around. Okay? have arrived, the bells are ringing. Yeah. Yeah. Can't even see the church. Yeah. Oh, it's art installation. Yeah. Got a rhino there. It's carved out of the rock, isn't it? Flint wall one side, carved out the rock the other. So we've climbed about a thousand million stairs. Oh, it wasn't that bad. Steps. We had a quick look at the castle. You have to pay to go in the castle, so we didn't bother. But there was a, a viewpoint which had stunning views of the bay. But there's all these little pathways around the top of the bays. Just and we're just idyllic. strolling around now. We've got still got an hour and a half till we have to be back on the boat, so we're going to have a stroll around, aren't we? We've got to get that fridge magnet, haven't we? Yeah. I'm sure they sell Portofino ones back in Santa Margarita. Oh, maybe. Yeah. So let's go to the top of this slope and see what's what's occurring. It's like a theatre. Wow. Now there's something to take your breath away. Amazing, isn't it? Incredible. The 
across St George on the flag and St George on the flag. Never far from home. We were just commenting how blue the sea is today. Azuri blue. There's a chapel. It's beautiful. So some of it's being worked on. They've done one side by the looks of it. Oh, magnets. Let's buy a magnet. Little boutique alley. They still got the Christmas lights up. Isn't they? <laughs> Ooh. That's very full. Full of pattern. I think we found the main hub. This is where all the traffic stops and everyone parks by this of it. Oh, yeah, you can park in there, but there's a parking garage. If you need the loo here, it's a euro. Yes, there was a free one in San Marguerite, which wasn't the cleanest. Well, no. it was clean, but there was nowhere to wash your hands. Yeah. Um, but yeah, a euro to have a wee, so just, there just you go. be aware. Let's get out of the way. So here's a better view of the, the dead end, basically. Pedestrians only from here. Still amazing all the way around, though. So should we head up to see the church? There's all these little walkways that are off the main drag. Little alleyways. I keep imagining there's going to be a Bond chase. <laughs> They're obsessed with Bond. And this is always used because it's so pretty and picturesque, yeah. door look it's my house I found where I'm meant to live <laughs> you'll find me here at number two Pippa Street Portofino Street yeah, yeah. Porta Pippa Street I love these little alleyways <laughs> oh, it's a quaint little square little restaurants in it Interesting, don't they? Melon liqueur, pistachio. Presumably, um, Limoncino. Cream like bacon. Mandarin, by the looks of it. It's lovely. They do the smaller ones as well. Yeah. 
Definitely like their sailing artifacts here, don't they? Get pretty much everything, even a pirate. And a lighthouse. We're just waiting to get back on the boat to head back to uh, Santa Margarita. And we're just sitting on the waterfront, chilling out, yep. taking it all in. Uh, it might be worth noting, ladies, if you are ever coming here, uh, this is not flip-flop territory. No. It's on an incline, a lot of it. There's a lot of steps and there's a lot of cobbles. So we're talking sensible trainers. Yeah, accessibility is not good. Uh, no, it's not great. I mean, here in the, the actual bay area, yeah. it's absolutely fine. Yeah. Uh, but going outside, there's lots of incline and steps. Yeah. Um, and this excursion with P&O is called Coastal Gems, if anyone's doing the same sort of cruise. And it, you go to San Margarita from La Spezia on a coach, took about an hour and a bit. Then you get a little bit of time in San Margarita just to sort of get your bearings. We had, what, half an hour? Uh, then we yeah. got a boat over here to Portofino, which took 10, 15 minutes. We've had two and a bit hours here. We're going to go back to San Margarita, have about, I think half an hour to an hour and then back and it was 70 pounds each uh, you'd know, you'd never be able to do it on your own no nope. um so well worth the money yeah so if you can grab a slot grab a slot So this is the beach at Santa Maria Liguria. Very rocky and pebbly. Too many people going in because it's quite parky with that breeze coming in off the sea. But... Hmm. Well, it's a beach and I'm sure you can go in the water. Oh, paddle. Yeah. Yes, that wheel is going round. Clouds are starting to gather. Not going on the big wheel today, sadly. Mrs. B won't let me. We haven't got time. I remember that. So we're in the theatre to see Rough Parsons. Showtime again. Yeah. He's a singer who does covers. Quite yep. of it. So we'll see how he goes. We'll let you know afterwards. peeing down over there. But we had a fine day, so I'm pleased with that. Still fairly calm. Us here. Morning, evening. Um, we forgot to finish the vlog last night in classic yeah. vlogger mode. Um, oh, look, there's Bunsen the cow between us. <laughs> oh, I've just been outside, which is why my glasses have gone dark. Um, yes, sorry about that. So we came back, had a, we had pizza and chips from the quick yeah. service in the Sky Dome. Some Didn't vlog food. it. It's not that interesting. It's not really. pizza and chips. Um, then we went to watch Russ, Russ Parsons. Oh, we, I think we, that's the last thing we vlogged last night, us saying we're about to see yeah. him. <laughs> he was great. It's okay. Yeah. I really liked him. Um, he was doing all male, uh, male icons was his show. 
total. had technical issues, so it was about half an hour late starting. Yeah, they had. So we think it was sound because yeah. the the house music was not doing what it should. Um, and then I popped up to the Sky Dome later to see X, which was barking mad, but I loved it, and I did get a little bit of footage, so I'm sure people will pop it in now. Pete was watching, I don't know, what were you watching? Football? Reading? I don't know what you were doing. I can't remember. <laughs> so thank you very much for following along with our day in, where the heck were we? Portofino. Portofino. God, what, if, when you go to so many ports, you literally forget where you are. Um, so please like, please subscribe. Our next one will be must day in France. Yes, thank you very much for watching. See you soon. So bye. bye. Well, thank you very much for watching. Please like, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed that video, why not check out this one here? And we also have some playlists, and here's one here. We'll see you there. Bye.